Hello ACDC fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. I want to talk today a little bit about how we get good at something. Now we can go spend a whole whack of money on schooling and we can get book learned on stuff. Does that make us good? Well, I don't know. Uh, just because you can pass a test doesn't make you good. And just because you failed a test doesn't mean you're bad. It's a benchmark that we use and, and we have to have some kind of a benchmark. But the reality is that the people who are most effective at what they do are people who are well-rounded in their capabilities, maybe even before they start doing what they're now doing that makes them so good. And I'll give you an example. When we look at IT professionals, InfoSec professionals, red team, blue team, forensics, pick a computer related security field. Where does or do some of the most effective people in any of those fields start? Where do they cut their teeth? I think you'll find that in many cases, it's with help desk. Help desk is, you know, people look down their nose at help desk. But I'll tell you what, the things you learn in help desk, because every day is a new adventure. Every day you're getting calls about, about some kind of new problem and you're having to troubleshoot it. Not troubleshoot it with the assistance of someone who knows what they're talking about. You're having to troubleshoot it with someone who has no clue what you're talking about. Click here, click there. Oh, I don't know what that means. Go to your desktop. Where's my desktop? You get what I'm saying. People who fill a number of different roles as they work their way up to the positions they're into today are the ones that get the most well-rounded, especially in forensics, because in forensics, you're investigating things uh, that have been done by users doing things that maybe you've never done before or never seen before. What is the best logical approach to figure it out? The better you understand all of the concepts around the use of a computer, the better forensicator you're going to be. I uh, had started doing information security and worked my way up to the point where I now teach Security 301 and Security 401 besides the forensics classes I teach. They have made me a better forensicator because understanding how to secure the network helps me understand the things I'm going to see as I'm going through an endpoint or through a computer. For the next probably number of episodes, we are going to start looking at one facet of computing and information security that we see prevalent throughout the computing world, and that is cryptography. So we're going to do a number of episodes on cryptography, what it is, and hopefully in these bite-sized chunks, you're going to walk away understanding cryptography in ways like you've never understood it before. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it, another episode of three minutes max.